Hi there and welcome to my art channel. My name is Shonke and I'm happy to have you here. So sit back, relax, and let's do some art together. If you're new to the channel, let me give you a little bit of a rundown of what this video is about and about the series of videos that it belongs to. So, as uh, you probably don't know if you're new, I am an artist, uh, I specialize in creature design, and currently I am on a mission to um, create a wonderful and beautiful uh, animation portfolio. So what that implies is that I would love to work in visual development, and thus I want to create a portfolio that's going to depict that and show my skill set. A part of uh, visual development is showing off several things, and one of that is character design. And thus I created a personal project to hopefully help me um, showcase that uh, and to showcase my ability to create characters and of course uh, to showcase my skills. This particular project is about creating, um, well, animal portraits while using or Maybe it's best to say being inspired by aristocracy um, or, well, not all of them aristocrats, but it started off with aristocrats, but um, slowly I developed uh, several characters who were not very aristocratic, <laughs> but that's okay. So as usual, um, sometimes you're, you know, you have to allow your project to develop a per well, if it's a personal project, of course, uh, allowing it to grow and develop and, you know, letting it uh, spread its wings, which is appropriate for this current video because we're talking, well, I'm showing you a character that's actually an owl. So, uh, if you haven't seen any of the previous videos, um, you can check them out. There are several, I think this is a fifth or sixth video in the series, and I am <laughs> getting pretty tired of doing them, but, you know, sticking it to the end and trying to finish off this project and create a beautiful illustration that's going to depict um, several animal portraits. And so, let's get into today's, um, well, subject. Today we are creating a, a uh, portrait of a owl that is actually a Spanish conquistador. First I wanted it to be an owl uh, that is a mix with a knight, but um, while researching armors, I came across uh, conquistador armors and I thought they were pretty interesting and figured that uh, they would probably fit really well with the silhouette of an owl, especially the helmet. So I decided to change it from a knight to a conquistador and use that as inspiration. So, in the spirit of the previous videos, I'm asking you viewers if you have any um, good suggestions on a name for this guy. I would love to hear it, so feel, it, feel free to, you know, share ideas in the comments below and I definitely want to check that out and see what you think and uh, see your suggestions. Some clever ones would be great and hopefully that's going to not bite me back. <laughs> but thanks so much. Really appreciate it and it would be very helpful because often I have a problem when naming things and um, you know a couple of you guys have already helped in the past and help me name a couple of these portraits, which was great for labeling them afterwards. Um, I knew what I was doing, so thanks a lot, and I look forward to reading your suggestions. And so the most difficult part of this particular painting was uh, trying to hit the right tone for the armor to make sure that the texture looked believable enough that it is metal but also that it's not brand spanking new, right? That it has been worn for a little bit, you know, that it doesn't look like it's just been uh, taken off the rack, but, <laughs> uh, yeah, been bought by this wonderful owl person. And so th this was a little bit difficult because um, it does take a lot. You got to think about a lot of things. And, um, you know, it was, hard but at one point you just gotta let it go and decide that has the piece that you're working on hit that level of quality that you're comfortable with because we can't make everything 100 percent perfect 
And it's impossible to make something 100% perfect, which is the beauty of art. We grow, we improve, we change, we develop, and it's a journey that never really stops, never really ends. And thus, um, it's best to allow yourself uh, to grow and allow your, your skills to grow while also respecting yourself as an artist that sometimes you just gotta say okay this is where this is where we're stopping this is good enough and not in the sense that it's a mediocre piece no that it's just like yes this is the best i can do right now and uh, i'm comfortable with this i'm proud of this and that's that's basically all you can do so if you can take anything from this video is that um, perfection is an illusion and uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Now that we got our conquistador finished, it is time to finish up all of the frames that I'm going to be using in the final piece. And for this part, well, all I can say is that uh, I will never, ever, ever willingly paint old-fashioned frames. It has been painful, it has been frustrating, and by golly, I am not going to do it again. Of course, if, if it can be avoided. <laughs> this has been quite a challenge, my friends. But in the end, it was, you know, it paid off, the frames look good, uh, they're, you know, a perfect part of the piece, and I can't say anything else other than that. That sometimes you gotta do things you don't like, and sometimes you gotta do things to realize you don't like them. And so, to wrap things up, because we're slowly finish up, finishing today's video, is that uh, we are also very close to finishing this project. Uh, it's been a while. I've done this for quite, quite a bit. I think this is like the fifth video. Um, doing this project so hopefully the next video will be the last one and because it is the last one I would love to hear from you are these videos interesting is this something that um, has been entertaining to you guys would you like to see more and if not what would you like to see so once again alongside a perfect name for our owl I would love to see your opinion to read your opinions uh, have these videos been enjoyable? What would you like to see in the future? What art videos inspire you to do more of your own art? In the end, uh, I really do want to create videos that not just showcase um, different artistic uh, journeys that I'm on, but I also would love to inspire you to start your own projects, work on your own thing, and you know develop yourselves so in that spirit feel free to leave a comment down below and uh also before we leave <laughs> i like to say a big thank you to all of my patrons you guys are amazing and i'm extremely thankful to your support if you too dear viewer would like to get monthly goodies from me and be a part of this uh, artistic journey uh feel free to check out patreon.com slash you will have some links down below and until next time take care of yourselves stay safe and much love